everyone. Welcome to Tutorials Point. This is an introductory video of a new module whose name is Motion. Now we see a lot of things around us all the time. For example, the trees, the flying birds and a lot of vehicles moving on the road. For example, a car or a ceiling fan or the houses on a tree on a street. Now out of all these objects, some of the objects are fixed to their own positions. What I mean to say is they cannot move from their position to some other position. And such objects which cannot move from one place to another and are fixed to their own place are said to be at rest. So here the trees and the houses on a street are at rest. Now the other objects which seem to move from one place to another are said to be in motion. So here a moving car on the road, the blades of a ceiling fan and the flying birds are all in the state of motion. So rest and motion are the two states in which a body could be found. Now how can we precisely say that a body is in rest or in motion? Actually, when the position of an object changes with time, we say that thus this body is in motion. So we define motion in this way. Now let me explain this a bit further. Now suppose we have a straight road and a car starts from here at this, uh, from this point at 5 o'clock. Now, let's say after half an hour, it reaches here at this position. Now, here we can clearly see that uh, with the change in time, that is after half an hour, we find the car to be in a different position than the initial position of the car, which was somewhere here. Now, again, after 45 minutes, let's say the car position is this. Now again there was a change in position of the car when, a, when there was a change in time uh, that is there was an increase in time. So here we can say that this car is moving because it is changing its position whenever there is a change in time or we can say that we are finding this car in a different position every time there is a increase in time. So from here we can conclude that when the position of an object changes with time, we say that that object is in motion. Now here the car has moved along a straight path. Now any motion along a straight path is said to be motion in a straight line. Now apart from this type of motion, there are so many other types of motion. Let us have a look at those examples. Now, the motion of earth around the sun is something like this and this is clearly not a straight path. On the other hand, it, it looks something like an elliptical path. Now such a motion that earth makes around sun, we can call this kind of motion is made in a curved path. Now, let, you, let me give you some other examples. Now, the motion of a swing, which is again not a straight line path, is a kind of to and fro motion. Now, this to and fro motion is repeating itself after a certain period of time. Now, such motions which repeat itself after a certain period of time are said to be periodic motion. So, this motion of a swing is a periodic motion. Similarly, the motion of a seesaw when children are playing on it is something different. It is something like up and down motion. Now this motion is also considered to be a periodic motion since it repeats itself after a certain period of time. Now in everyday life we come across different bodies making different kinds of motion and those motions are not as simple as these. Now those motions are a combination of 
these simple motions. Now let us look at some such examples. Now let me take the same example that is motion of earth around sun. We all know that earth moves around sun in an elliptical path that is it revolves around the sun and also it rotates about a fixed axis at, at its own position. So earth is, is uh, having two kinds of motion in this case that is one is motion along a curved path that is elliptical path around the sun as well as rotational motion at its own position with respect to a fixed axis. So this is a kind of motion that earth makes which is not a simple one but it is a combination of two kinds of motion. Now let me give you another example. The motion of these balls and discs in this inclined plane are also a combination of two kinds of motion that is sliding and rolling. Now these discs and balls are rolling and also they are sliding down the plane at the same time. So this is, an another, is another example of combination of two kinds of motion. Now in everyday life we come across different bodies making so many other kinds of motion which are too complex. But we will be looking at these kind of motions in this chapter in a bit detail. And we'll be having a closer look at different kinds of motion that bodies make. And we'll also look at some parameters related to the motion of a moving body. That is, uh, for example, velocity, speed, acceleration, etc. And we'll also try to put them into graphs and interpret what these motions actually mean. Later in this chapter, we'll be trying to express the motions made by different bodies into equations which are termed as equations of motion and it will be a great fun learning these concepts so i wish you a happy learning thank you tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning